Hello, hello, hello! How are you guys doing today? Okay, so I just was holding all this stuff up for the thumbnail that you guys saw before you clicked on this video, and it took me a second to get all this stuff into my arms and hold it up because I did not think it was gonna be this large of a haul today. I've got boxes from Amazon. I'm very excited about this. I think I know what this is. And I've got some coffee that I ordered from Amazon. Then I have some stuff that I bought at Fresh Time the other day. I have, I have no idea what this is. <laughs> like no idea whatsoever that I got. I guess from Amazon. I don't even know what this is. I was like, I had to look at it. I was like, is this for my husband? Is this for me? I have no idea what this is. I have more stuff over here. I have more stuff over here. I think coffee. And then, then the big one my new Keurig. So let me tell you what happened and how this haul came to be and all that. Um, so I think it was sometime last week, my Keurig, I, first of all, I just want to tell you, I swear by the Keurig. I love the Keurig. A couple people when I was talking about it on my vlog were like, I'm so over my Keurig, my Keurig breaks. I don't care if it broke every six months. I continue to buy a Keurig every six months. The last Keurig that we have was gifted to us. Um, and I'm very grateful for that. And I use the hell out of it. I mean, like numerous times a day, making hot tea, making coffee in it. Alex uses it for just hot water sometimes. I love the Keurig. I absolutely swear by it. My cousin Caroline was like recently, she's like, I want one of those Nespresso machines. And I was like, yeah, they kind of are fun too. But I was like, I don't know that I need a Nespresso machine and a K-Pod Keurig machine. So anyway, sometime last week, um, our Keurig machine started like it not working. It wasn't filtering out well and it was like acting weird and it would shut itself off. So I did the whole cleaning system on it. I have like the bought the cleaning system and did all that on it. And then people were sending me stuff on how to clean it out with vinegar. I did everything you could possibly could. The Keurig is done. Okay. It's just, it's done. So I know when I do this video, people are gonna be like, well, Peter, did you try? The Keurig is done. Okay. It's dead. It's going to be in the trash. As soon as I pull this one out and put it on the counter, it's done. We're done. We don't need to, we don't need to worry about it. I have probably probably made, I don't know, 30,000 cups of coffee and tea and that, that Keurig. It's done. It's served its purpose. I'm very, very grateful for Carol the Keurig, but she's gone. Okay. Rest in peace, Carol the Keurig. So I got online the other night. I was like, I'm going to start, I'm going to go to the store. I was like, just buy the same Keurig that you have. So I bought the exact same Keurig that I have. Hold on a second. I just realized I did not bring my scissors up for this. So I'm going to have to rip the tape off of this. Hold on just a second. Not that it really matters. It's the exact same Keurig that I had before, but I do want to show it to you guys in case you're looking for Christmas presents. Um, ooh, I should have linked this one. This is a hot, this is a hot ticket item right here. <laughs> but no, I swear by this one. I will say that the only thing about it is, is that it supposedly makes iced coffee, but really what it does is it, <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be a little cooler and then you put it over ice. It's really just like Keurig coffee over ice. So, but it's supposed to be iced coffee. It has like a special iced coffee feature on it, which is why uh, it was gifted to us originally because the person that bought it for us was like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, get the iced coffee feature. And I tried it several different times and it really didn't make a difference. So anyway, so this is the Keurig that I got. I think I got the same colors before. I got brushed silver and there's a couple, there's all different kinds of colors that you can get on it. So I'm not really sure. Ah! what color I got, but this is a Keurig that I purchased right here. Let me, here it is. The Keurig K Elite. This is the Keurig that I got. This is the exact same one that we have before. It has the water tank on the side. This is just like where I'm looking right. It's the exact same Keurig that I had before. I think I got the same color and everything. And I love it. I love it. I fill the tank up every single night and I usually go through an entire tank and a half every single night. So it tells you how much coffee I have. So on here, it has, where's my reading glasses? Hold on a second. The K Elite Single Serve Coffee Maker, strong brew. So it has different intensities that you can make. And then it has iced coffee, brew hot, empty, co enjoy cold. I don't think that the, the iced coffee thing feature really works that well, but that's just me. Five coffee sizes. Oh, okay. Well, the, oh, it does have five. Does ours have five on it? Maybe it does. I don't know. But it has this strong, oh, that's where it has. It has strong and then like that you can put on there and push it and it makes your coffee stronger, which that does work. And I really love that. I will tell you the coffee sizes, even on the largest one, which is the one I usually use, does not even fill up a whole coffee cup. So I'm like, the sizes are, I don't know what a small coffee, that must be like an espresso or something, but fast and fresh, brewed, delicious coffee in minutes. I'd say it takes about a minute and a half to brew a cup of coffee. 75 ounces, um, brewing America's leading, okay, so I don't know if you get any K cups with this or not. I don't really care. I have 9 million and I just bought some more. So here it is. There's my new Keurig. I cannot wait to rinse this out and put this up there tonight. I'm so excited about that. Okay, 
Whew. So when I bought it, I knew I was going to be showing it over here. This tripod has been giving me hell all day today. I knew that I was going to be showing it over here. So I was like, well, I want to buy some holiday coffee. Because to be honest with you, I bought like five different flavors of pumpkin spice. I'm kind of pumpkin spiced out at this point. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of like, if I don't have another pumpkin spice coffee, I mean, I have to drink it because I have all of it now. Right. But I'm like, if I don't have to dr drink another pumpkin spice <laughs> in the next couple, I'm totally fine with that. But I'm going to continue to drink the pumpkin spice. So I, I still have, I think, two or three things, big things, a pumpkin spice. I have the Mods coffee, two of the things of the Mods, oh, the Mods coffee and a crazy coffee is what I have, the pumpkin spice. So I wanted to go in and I wanted to buy some different kinds of coffee for holiday. So I just went online and, well, this bag is ripped <laughs> probably for me doing that. Oh, no, 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 this is, oh, this is, okay, this is a sampler. It says Green Mountain Holiday Blend Sampler. So I don't know what that is, but Green Valley has quickly become one of my favorite brands of K-Pods. So a while ago, a long time ago, I bought the, it might have been last Christmas, but they're still good. I bought the sugar cookie, the Green Mountain sugar cookie, and I love it. Like I, I savor it. Like I only use like one every couple days because I love it so much. It's so smooth. I wouldn't say it's overwhelmingly the taste of, oh, oh this is cute, little sampler. Okay, so this is how it opens. So. I really like, the Green Mountain is a pretty basic K-Pod company, but I wanted to taste what their holiday blend tasted like because I think the sugar cookie one is so smooth, and I have another one of theirs, and it's so, it's honey, cinnamon honey drizzle or something. I think I might have got them at Target, but they are both such a smooth coffee, and I really, really like them. So I was like, well, I want to try the, I think I had another one of theirs, but I wanted to try the holiday blend. So I got the holiday blend of theirs, and it has, one, two, three, four, has 12 in the little box that you get. So got that one. Now I cleaned out the pantry, so I have an entire shelf on the pantry all just devoted to my K-Pods, which of course Alex is so excited about. I just go in there and I'll like, I'll pick out different ones and then I put them in, because I have a drawer underneath the cake, the Keurig. I'm very serious about my coffee making. And I also sometimes use the French roast or the French press. I don't usually use the coffee maker, but um, I thought I need to start making a pot of coffee every day when I get up because I kind of miss that. And so my cousin Caroline gave us a coffee maker years ago. I think I'm going to look for another coffee maker. There's this coffee maker that I had in my youth, and I'm, I'm thinking about looking for that coffee maker again. And um, so anyway, so I got some other coffee. Hold on a second. The other kinds of coffee that I got, this, is, this has got, this sounds like coffee. So let's see what this is. Ah! Oh, okay, so this was my favorite coffee the last two years for Christmas, and this is the Barney's, I think it's called Santa's White Christmas or something like that, the Santa's White Christmas. You can get it on all these on Amazon. This is my favorite holiday brand, brand or holiday blend coffee. I love it so much. Does it say on here the flavoring of it? Naturally and artificially flavored, does it say? No one does flavor like us by Barney's. Um, we started our journey 40 years ago, inspired to create the most dramatically delicious coffee in the world. Anyway, I'm just telling you right now, I'm not going to go in and read all that, but I'm just going to tell you right now, this is probably the best holiday blend I've ever had, and it's called Barney's White, Santa's White Christmas, and you can get it on Amazon. So that's the next one. Let me pile all this stuff up so I can take it down. Okay. Do I have another coffee? I think this might be more coffee. Okay. So let's go in here and see. So community coffee is kind of my new thing, Okay that I told this story, but years ago, I went on a work trip to Thibodeau, Louisiana to go look at treatment facilities when I was working in treatment. I went with my supervisor and there were, everybody that we met with was in recovery. And so in like the big recovery community down there, the only, they told us the only thing they'll drink is community coffee, which is apparently a thing of the South. I think maybe just Louisiana, I don't know. But then I started reading the Misfortune books by Janet DeLeon and it takes place in sinful Louisiana and they drank community coffee. So a while ago, somebody sent me, the, I think it was the Mardi Gras community coffee. And then I, I bought some decaf and then I just recently bought the pumpkin spice, which is fantastic by community coffee. And so I ended up buying the vanilla waffle cone coffee by Community Coffee. So I'll try all these and then I'll do a review on my review channel telling you guys what I think about all these new coffees. And then the last one that I bought, oh, more Community Coffee, was the Community Coffee Merry and Bright Christmas Blend. Like, I'm sold on the Community Coffee now. So that's very exciting. I got all these new coffees. Got four new coffees to try. It's going to be it's supposed to rain tonight. We'll just imagine it's snow and then we'll put on the coffee. Okay. So then I wanted to show you guys the things that I bought at Fresh Time, the really exciting things I bought at Fresh Time. 
So the first thing I bought is some poopery because I wanted to try this out. And this is the, oh, Berry and Bright. And this is Berry and Bright Cranberry Cinnamon and Balsam Fur Poopery for your toilet. So you put it in your toilet and then you do your business and then you flush your toilet and it smells all good in the bathroom. Now this is kind of a nice little stocking gift because this is all like, it feels like velvet on the outside. I like that. I swear by this poopery stuff. I bought... A long time ago, I bought the other ones that they had at Fresh Time, and they were like knockoff brands, and they were like, they were stupid, and they did not smell good at all, and they smelled horrible, and I ended up throwing them away, because my husband was like, that is smelling up the whole house. It's, it smelled worse than poop, okay? If you know when you're buying something that's supposed to cover up the smell of poop, and it smells worse than poop, then you need to get rid of it. So I got rid of this. This was, I think, like $9.99 or something like that. Oh, actually, you know what? Because this stuff was kind of expensive. Fresh Time's actually, Fresh Time's is kind of like, Fresh Time is kind of like, it looks like a big barn, grocery store. It's kind of like a Whole Foods, but a lot cheaper. But they have a lot of homemade stuff and locally sourced stuff in there, which is what I love. So the poopery was, hold on a second. It was $9.99, okay? Then they had this whole area that was all like stocking stuffers, Christmas gifts, and stuff like that. Now, you know I'm walking, okay? <laughs> okay? A gay is walking. Okay, you know I'm walking. So I'm walking again. And when I'm walking, I'm constantly like, you know, like pausing my, my phone while I'm listening to my audiobook. Or if I listen to music, I'm like listening to music. So I need mittens. But I needed mittens that are cute. <laughs> Number one, I need cute mittens. But also ones where my fingers are exposed for when it gets really cold outside. So I, brought the, I bought these mittens. How cute are these, right? So see, look. I can like... I don't have my phone up here, but I can just like type on my phone and have my fingers out. And then if I get cold, I can go like that while I'm walking. Isn't that perfect? I have a pair of mittens like this downstairs. I have the fingers cut off of it, but um, they are like, they have holes in them and stuff like that. So I got a new pair. These were $25.99, which I think is kind of expensive, but I really, really like them. Aren't those so cute? I mean, not just for walking, but from anywhere. So Alex asked me, they were saying on the counter, he goes, are you going to show your mittens for a haul video? And he just started laughing. I go, you know what? I go, these mittens, I'm going to have them at one point, okay? And you're going to be pissed because your fingers are going to be cold. And he goes, well, your fingers are going to be cold too because you don't have any finger holes for those mittens. I go, well, my hands won't be cold, but my fingers might be. So don't worry about it. So those are the things I got at fresh time. Okay, then, I'm a, I don't know what this is. Let's open this and see what this is. I have no idea. It's some kind of clothing or something. What is this? What could this possibly be? Did I buy it from Amazon? It doesn't look like it's from Amazon, actually. Oh, I did! I just bought these the other night from Amazon. Okay, speaking of walking. So, actually, this is good. I was going to actually do a whole... If you guys want me to link, like, my favorite things I bought from Amazon in the last year, let me know. Okay, and I will do that. So, when I started my walking journey 360 weeks ago, I bought... I, like, when I was walking a lot, and I'm walking a lot again, like, over an hour every night, that I get, like, chafed very easily. And so, a lot of people were recommending, like, my husband as well, compression shorts to me. So, I found these shorts on... On Amazon okay and the brand is I thought I bought one blue and I guess I bought two black maybe I bought two black and two blue but the brand is called hold on a second it just says nice on here what is the brand Do they have a brand in here <laughs> where's the brand it starts with an O I don't know what the brand is. It doesn't say the brand name in here anywhere. But anyway, I think it starts with an O. You can just put compression shorts in and you'll see. But I bought these shorts and they're like running shorts, but then underneath them, they have compression shorts, okay? That come about mid cap, mid, mid thigh. I bought these in extra large and because I've lost weight, the extra large, they fit, but the, this part, the compression short still is a little bit baggy. So I've been wearing them so much lately when I've been walking that I bought, uh, I think I bought four pair. I bought two blue and two black. Those look both black too, don't they? Or maybe these are dark gray. I don't know. But I bought these two pairs. Does this one have a tag in it? They have tags in it, but they don't, they just say made in China. They don't say anything about them. But anyway, a little thing in there. You can put your phone in the side. I love these shorts. They're $35 each, but they are totally worth it. If you're looking for a gift for somebody for Christmas or for a birthday or New Year's or whatever. But I love these shorts so much. No, we will not be doing a try-on of these shorts, but I love them. And they do keep my legs from being chafed. I just needed smaller size, so I got large instead of um, extra large for these because the extra large are too baggy on me. So I got those. And then, to go along with my walking, I think that's what this is. So let me open it first before I get into the whole story about this because, you know, everything has a story to it. Come on, box. God, they have this all taped up. Ah, I should look and make sure this is not for my husband. Okay. Sometimes I open his boxes by accident because we both order so much stuff online. Okay. Ah! Is this the thing I think it is? It is! It is! It is! It is! Okay. 
So because I'm walking again, I do not carry my phone with me every hour of the day, right? And I want to get, I'm really into the step counting. And so I know it's cheesy, but I really want to get an accurate count of what my steps are. But I don't, right now I don't have an I, uh, Apple phone. I don't have a Fitbit. And so I wanted to look into finding something that I could like just put on in the morning when I get up and then it'll count my steps throughout the day. So people, I said it on my blog, and people were recommending to me those Aura rings or whatever. They're $349. Now, I would love something that tracked every bit of my body and my sleep patterns and stuff like that. I don't, I'm not, I don't know that I'm going to stick into it that long, that I want to invest $349. I also looked at Fitbits. There's actually cheap Fitbits, but then they have a lot of things too. I just wanted to count my steps. That's where I want to start. If down the road, I end up progressing into wanting one of these rings that does everything with my heart rate and all that kind of stuff, I might. I might do that. Somebody suggested I ask Alex for that for Christmas. If I get real into it, I will. But I just wanted something that would track my steps. And so I bought this thing. It was $21.99 on, uh, it was like, I think it was like mid-range. It wasn't like the most expensive. It wasn't the cheapest. Um, but I bought this on Amazon. It comes in like every color in the rainbow. I got black. And it's the 3D Fit Bud Simple Step Counter. And it doesn't hook up to an app or anything like that. You literally just hit reset in the morning and you just clip it to yourself. And then it like, you walk around with it. And so I thought that, that I can't open it because I don't have any scissors, but the simple step counter by 3D Active, and it just you just put it on the clip. Reinsert the clip when you're ready to start walking. Track your daily steps, view your progress on the move, easy to use, simple one button step reset, accurate with advanced 3D, whatever technology to accurately count your steps, extra large display, how to wear, clip to pocket or waist. So I can just clip it to myself when I get up in the morning, and then as I'm moving around the house, it'll count my steps instead of me having to carry my phone. Because I don't carry my phone around with me all day long. When I go places, I often leave it in the car. So, got this. I'm really excited about this, because I'm back into the health journey again, trying to, get, trying to get back into the walking again. I'm excited about my, I'm hoping it doesn't rain tonight. I'm supposed to go to a meeting. Uh, with my good Judy Tiny Jean, but we're not doing that anymore. So I'm hoping that I can walk. It's supposed to rain really hard in Indianapolis tonight. So hopefully I can get my walk in before it rains. But anyway, let me know what you think about all those things. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.